My name is Denver Prophet Jr. I'm the co-founder and hostmaster. Let's begin. So we've gotten to the uh, the link. You're going to select your brand from that list. You're going to select badge. You're going to keep it in portrait mode. Don't pay too much attention to this because we're going to change that to a percent. This is your personal preference here on the color theme. I like to keep it at the light. Color photo is the background. So if you disable it, that's what it's going to look like. If that's what you want, that's your preference. My preference is to keep the background. The tagline is the first description of your About Me page on your brand uh, or your local brand. Keep the, the language in uh, what you're uh, going for. If this is an English blog, then the circle action would display in English. Uh, if you're Hebrew, then the button action would render in Hebrew. These options down here keep that checked for the JavaScript. And the parse tags is on load so that when we get over to the, the script area over here, that'll load up at the bottom of the page. And I'm going to show you a little bit later on in step 9 and 10. So you want to copy this part here, this top part, over to one text pad. And then in another text pad, you want to copy this area here to an additional text pad. So you'll have two open in this initial step before we get to WordPress. So the next thing you have to do is get your personal badge. So you're going to select it from the Google user list. You're going to keep the badge where it is. This one you're going to make it a, a landscape layout. Again, don't worry about the width. This is your preference. That's what it looks like when it's dark. Keep these as they are. The only thing that you need to worry about on this render is copying this to a, uh, a new text pad and then we'll begin inserting into various themes in WordPress. In step 10 I told you to copy the JavaScript into a separate text pad. This is where you're going to paste it into the Genesis theme. Alright I'm using the Avada theme and this is where you're going to paste in your step 10 your additional JavaScript from where I explained earlier in the video. Everything would be different on where you would place optional JavaScripts. So check your theme documentation. This is why it was so important to have the multiple sidebar feature that you can either use in the Avada theme or you can download the plugin that I listed below on my uh, blog page. Please visit that to get the link. So I'm going to come down here to my WordPress category because that's how I create my sidebars so that they're different for each category. You see that I've used a, uh, a text widget which then I would insert into the sidebar of my choosing which I did for the WordPress sidebar. The first one is uh, where I put my call to action. So you make your choice there, but I put that the most important uh, part of, of my sidebar. And the next one is where I put my brand. And you can see from uh, step nine on copying your brand code that I have that there. The next one is, is I start listing all the uh, authors that I have in my blog. And so I have a uh, snippet code for David Graham. And notice here that it's real author. And over here it was real publisher. Author is a little bit different on visibility 
because we're going to take logic to say show only if author equals and then you're going to select the author and then save and that will save the visibility and the code. Repeat the steps for all the authors that are in your blog and make sure to get their badge code. And again, select the visibility. And so if a blog post was written by David Graham, then only this one would show up. This one would not. And let's show you what that looks like. So there's my call to action. There is my brand. Uh, this was the text that I put for the widget title. And because this post was written by me, only my brand, uh, personal author badge is going to show up here. That's why it was important to go with the, uh, uh, what was it? See here, landscape mode. And, you know, these are just extraneous data that I put up there for, for branding. But that's what it's going to look like. 